Hi, I'm Sparks Fire Chief Andy Flock. I'm here today to talk to you about Survive the Fire Emergency or Project SAFE. Project SAFE is a program that talks about working smoke alarms, new smoke alarm technology, fire reporting, and fire escape planning. You can see here behind me that Fire Marshal Bob King and some Sparks firefighters are educating a local family. 74% of reported home fire deaths result from fires in homes with no smoke alarms or no working smoke alarms. This is a chilling statistic that can be prevented. Fire building codes require battery-operated smoke alarms to be centrally located in the hallway of all homes built before 1994. After 1994, smoke alarms were required to be installed in every sleeping room and centrally located in the hallway and be interconnected through the house electrical power, so when one sounds, they all sound. Smoke alarms do not last forever. The National Fire Protection Association promotes replacing your smoke alarm every 10 years. Through new technology, a new 10-year lithium battery can now replace the old 9-volt batteries in your smoke alarm. The Sparks Fire Department recommends changing all of your old smoke alarm batteries with 10-year lithium batteries and replacing all smoke alarms older than 10 years with a new 10-year warranted smoke alarm. The batteries and smoke alarms can be found at any local retail store. What do you do when the smoke alarm sounds? Your family should plan and practice a fire escape plan. First, sit down with everyone in your home and talk about the best way to exit the home in the event of a fire. Second, draw a floor plan of your home that shows two separate ways to exit each room. Post the plan on your refrigerator so everyone can see it. Third, agree on a designated meeting place outside the home, away from the building, where everyone can gather after escaping the fire. That way, you can count and ensure everyone is safe. Fourth, and most important, practice your escape plan monthly. The alarm sounds while you are all asleep. You awaken and immediately roll out of your bed to the floor. You crawl to the closed bedroom door and feel it with the back of your hand. If it is not hot, you slowly open the door and go straight to the nearest door outside. If the door is hot, you would keep it closed and escape out of your window. Once outside, go straight to your practice meeting place and wait for everyone else to arrive. Call the emergency dispatch at 911 using a cell phone or a neighbor's phone. Don't ever go back into the house for anything. Thank you for taking this opportunity to view this Project SAFE program. Your chances double to survive a fire emergency if you have working smoke alarms and practice your home escape plans. So thank you once again from the Sparks Fire Department for taking this opportunity to educate yourself on smoke alarms. If you have questions, comments, or to request your very own fire prevention and smoke alarm awareness packet, please contact the Sparks Fire Prevention Bureau at 775-353-2266 or visit their website at www.sparksfire.com.